Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Indonesia. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're killing a lot of Indian troops. Um, that's Bhutan, not India. Like, I think we've already killed like 10 or so divisions, which is pretty, pretty good. And there is 17 divisions here. And if we can occupy this province before they get there, I think they just get instantly killed? Uh, maybe. When, when do you actually arrive? You'll arrive in 17 hours. Now it's going to take you a day. So it looks like they are retreating faster than we can actually get there. But still, now they have... Uh... Oh, I thought they would have an encirclement penalty, but apparently they don't. Maybe there's not enough provinces here. Okay, so no national focus. Capital ship, I don't really know if we care too much about. There's only, there's only three things. So let's get armor effect. Because really that's all there is left. All of you get to this front. All of you get over here as well. And we're almost we're almost to where we need to be. Like purple's feeling great about their plan. Like they're just feeling wonderful about it. Soviet Union still hasn't invited Portugal. They are part of the commun communists, but they haven't done anything yet. Which kind of sucks. German Reich still looking big and scary. I don't know if Germany's ever actually going to declare war on the Soviets, though. Maybe we'll have to do that at some point, but, you know, we, we shouldn't jump. We shouldn't jump the gun. Uh, I forgot to turn on my timer. We, sh we shouldn't, you know, get too ahead of ourselves here. I don't know why you're not attacking. Why do you have so much attrition? Is, is this the supply is really bad here? Not states, supply areas. I mean, it looks like it's mostly okay. Like, it's all green. Which is what I interpret okay to be. Yeah, all of you strategically redeploy. You guys strategically redeploy. Just get to the front. And then after that... I basically go straight to Delhi. That's your only plan. Is basically take Delhi. They should capitulate like right away. You should walk straight to Calcutta. Because other than that, that's basically all you need to do. We don't need two people going to the same province. Doesn't really help us out too much. Lots more fighting going on up here. 53. They're, the AI is probably just waiting for a lot of the troops to get in position before they decide to attack, but eh, I'm going to kind of just force them to do it anyways. We have a 50% bonus here. Is this the head of time penalty? Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's get nuclear reactors. Is there anything we can actually do with nukes? No, we need nuclear reactors first. So yeah, we'll, we'll try to get the nuke. We're probably going to need it if we're going to, like, invade the United States at some point. Because we're probably going to have to invade the United States at some point. It's basically inevitable. We can spend three years trying to get Night Vision 2. I'm going to go with that's probably not going to happen. We do a Night Vision 1, which is nice. I think we'll, I think taking the... Even a, oh, even a like, a 70% ahead of time penalty for better infantry weapons is probably still worth it. Because what else are we really going to be researching right now? I just think getting better infantry is probably just going to be in our best, uh, the best choice we have. And we've almost reached our first goal, which is basically to take this line. How far are these guys? Yeah, no, it's still going to take them a while. About another week. They're still not strategically redeploying. Why? I don't know. I, I still don't really get the mechanics, I guess. Or how that even works. Less than a day until that. Oh, no, we're winning there now. Calcutta. We're waiting for multiple angles, so hopefully the city should fall at some point soon. I still don't understand like, what the Soviets are doing. Like, there's nobody up here. The Soviets should just flood through northern India, but they just don't. Like, there's plans here to do it. But they just don't do it. I, I don't, I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. New Zealand Navy is still just kind of hanging out. Is this an American island? Oh no, that's French. Who let these goddamn French islands here? You got, I mean, we're at war with these islands. We just haven't done anything about them yet. 
Maybe, maybe we'll take them. Is there anything actually on these islands? Nothing. There's nothing there. Is there even, like, resources here at all? 178 chromium. Don't we need chromium? Like, it's something that we kind of lack, isn't it? No, we produce six. We, we almost need, like, none of it, but still. Like, one of you. Like, I'm assuming that the French have no troop station there. Uh, actually, let's look at sea tiles first. This is all part of the Coral Sea. So I'm going to have you assigned to a special army. Purely to invade from Townsville to that city right there. That's your only plan. That's your only job. Hang out there, invade, and try to take the Chromium, I guess. Because that's 178 Chromium, which we can deny the, uh, we can deny the allies. Because I'm pretty sure they're probably still getting that Chromium. And that is bad for us. Supplies, are they still looking okay? I mean, we're not getting a notification about it, so I'm assuming this is probably just from, like, jungle or very hot, yeah. You're from Indonesia! I'm pretty sure it's not that much hotter in Bengal than it is in Indonesia, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it's actually colder because of all the water. Not I I don't know. I still can't believe how just terrible the Soviet Union has been for us. Like, oh, he's freeze flame factories, nice. Make them motorized, I guess. But, like, look at these casualty numbers. The Soviets right now have lost... Uh... 22,000 men. And that, that's it. We've lost... Like, Norway's put the most amount of effort into this war. They have 0% war participation, which is just embarrassing. Soviet Union, what the hell are you doing? Like, look how many guys we've killed! These are impressive numbers. Like, Sweden's lost a lot. Afghanistan's lost a lot of men. Like, I think they've already capitulated. I don't even know if we got a pop-up about it, but... Maybe we'll... I... Why don't you just attack? I don't get it. I mean, once the war involves the, uh... The Axis, I'm pretty sure the Soviets are gonna put much more of a fight up there. But... What about, what about Poland? Do you think we can attack Poland? I don't know if that, how it would help us. They're just kind of in their own little faction up here in the middle of Europe. Should we, should we invade Poland? I know we couldn't personally invade Poland. Oh, it'll take like 125 days? And you know, at that point, then I don't care. If they're all the way over there. Well, if we'll think about it in the future, like if there's ever a war with, say, the Axis, and then the Soviet Union just can't get to, uh... Actually, no, Turkey's in the Axis, aren't they? Yeah. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how the hell that all, that, how that all works out. But I do think we need to basically... Okay, no, there we go. Now Afghanistan's capitulated. Sorry, Afghanistan, we kind of brought you into this mess. But... We need more steel to get it from the Soviets. So maybe now the Soviet Union will realize that maybe they need to do something about this? Maybe they won't, who knows. Like, Portugal's still not involved in the war. The, the communist states have actually still somehow held out. Which is crazy. Turkey's invading through uh, Syria. And then this little pocket of resistance here should fall. Fantastic. Are you guys that too aggressive? You are. You're ready to do your invasion, but you can't until we actually have these boats. Which now actually have two cruisers involved with them, so maybe they'll be a little bit more defended. If they just patrol the Coral Sea, I believe then at that point the invasion should just go straight through. So we'll invade here, then we'll invade these islands, and then we'll invade up here. And that should work out just fine. I don't know how long it'll take those boats to get there. It'll take them five days, so probably in like a week we could take that Chromium from the French. And I still just want the goddamn Portuguese. I mean, Portugal will just die. I know Portugal wouldn't die. We're not worth the access. So, but they would basically be able to maybe take South Africa. Like, look at the look at the male brigades they have. 
I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Or if, I don't know if they'll ever join the, uh... Where the hell are you going? This isn't part of the plan at all. Silly AI. Okay. How about you just go here and then go straight to Delhi? How close are you to capitulating? Uh, whatever, whatever country you're called again. British Raj. Aren't you a great power? I think they are. Yeah. The fall of Gibraltar. It, it just fell? This entire time Gibraltar's just been standing still? That's kind of impressive, honestly. I'm, surpri I'm surprised Gibraltar could hold out for that long. But maybe, maybe I shouldn't be. Yeah, this guy, he's just pushing his way through, man. He can easily get cut off, like, extremely easily, but eh, it's not a big deal. Okay, this guy, he's going to go to his mission. Fantastic. Go take over these islands. Uh, did these British islands have resources as well? Yeah, that has a bunch of chromium, but nah, these ones look like they kind of just have nothing on them at all, so... I think that's fine. Any wizards, I think... Can there be resistance to occupation in provinces that don't have factories? I don't think so, because I think the only thing resistance to occupation does is... Cause them to blow up the factories. Like, there's no, like, rebellions that can fire up. Oh, we're also ready for a new infantry division as well. What will these guys do? Well, we could ship them to... Say... I don't, I don't really know. Where, where could we send them? I like how Yugoslavia now is basically Bulgaria. We can send them to Portugal. And then maybe invade, like, South Africa? That could be something that we can do with them. You know what? Okay, that, that, that makes sense. Uh, deploy the troops. 11 divisions. You're going to be put into a new army. Do we even have another general? We do, so let's hide you in charge. Basically set up a front line. You cannot draw. Don't I have military access for you? I can't your independence. I don't know if that... Nah, nah, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, be already part of our country. Okay, well, go to the fort first. Or go to the port. Because I think they need to go to the port before they can actually uh, get sent to another port. It's a little bit weird how that whole thing works. Oh, we're actually almost at Delhi? Well, I didn't last long at all, did it? 63. Is there any other major Indian cities? Or are they all just one point? One, one. Oh, yeah, Bombay is 10. Right. So let's. you guys just move straight to Bombay. Stop assisting and just move straight to Bombay. Just take the important cities. That's all you gotta do. Delhi and Bombay. I think after that point, they should just capitulate. And that's gonna be great for us. You guys at that port now? Also, you can't be purple. You need to be a different color. How about like, uh, orange? That's fine. But now, can I just send you to Mozambique? What do you mean we have no- oh, that's Italy. Yeah, send it to Mozambique. And then we'll do something there. Raider patrols, that's good. Yeah, okay, so we can actually go through this line as well, fantastic. 67%, looks like they kind of just gave up on trying to take Delhi at the moment, but that's okay. That's fine. Well, you might as well go to Hyperbad first and then go to Bombay. And you guys are still doing your plan. Fantastic. We're kind of spreading the, the front line a little bit thick or thin. So how about we just like edit the front line to not include all of this territory and just have them be like here. And this is just kind of, you know, these guys are basically just living in the wild. You know, they do what they want. And that's fine. Can you take Delhi again? Can you at least try? They have a lot of defense, which is kind of bad, so maybe we'll just ignore that for now. Why are you attacking places that don't matter? Enemies, there's superiority. Well, that just won't do, will it? 
all of our planes. 200, 400. We'll send them out further. I don't even know what being in an undermanned airport does. I'm assuming it has some negative penalties, but I don't actually know. And then be over northern India. Yeah, so what does this penalty have? I don't... I, I still don't really know, but we have air superiority now over northern India, and that's all that really matters. Do you have planes stationed here? You don't? That's fine. Oh, uh, we can get more technology, so we might as well get the last resource one. Rebellion in the Americas? What is this? America sponsored coup. The, the con it actually kind of worked out for us. In both Central and South America, revolutionaries have taken arms against rebellions in the name of democracy. But they're funded by the communist states of America? This guy right here, who only owns basically New York State, has funded rebellions in Brazil and in Bolivia? Huh. Wasn't Bolivia already communist? Or was it Ecuador? I thought somebody here was already communist. The Brazilian Socialist Republic. If this event can just fire more and more and more, this might have actually been a pretty sound investment. They're doing war plan red, so these guys are... The state of New York is basically trying to figure out how to invade Britain. Which is nice. I, I, I appreciate that. You should still be part of our faction, but you're not, so that kind of annoys me. I don't know, it was Paraguay. Paraguay was the communist one, right. And they're still communists, so that's good. Get special forces here. Are you guys really still, like, doing your invasion plans? I, I feel like you're really not. Like, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Go up here. Do your actual job. And where's, uh, where's, where's this Red Army? They're almost to Madagascar. Infantry tank weapons level 2. Fantastic. Uh, we can get better mechanized guys. We might as well get that done. We, we have a lot of motorized. So we might as well get them replaced. Belgium basically doesn't exist anymore. France has fallen quite quite badly. Let's get non-aggression packs with these brand new uh, communist states down here. And we already have a non-aggression pack with you. So, 5 and 5. So it's a pretty close battle in Bolivia. And it's also a pretty close battle in Brazil. So it really depends on where the troops are actually spawned. Like, they're almost close to Rio de Janeiro. And that's the capital of Brazil. If they can make a fall, then that would be great. And if that event can fire in, like, Mexico and Argentina and stuff. Venezuela, actually, because they have a lot of oil there. That could be quite good for us. And it looks like the Soviets have actually figured out that they should maybe do something in India. And that's... Thank, thank you, Soviet Union. You figured it out. Why is this battle going so poorly for us? A lot of guys in reserves. They abandoned Delhi? Five days? Southern India, Northern India. Enemies are superiority. Uh, by the way, are you guys under low intensity? I don't want to lose planes. Kamikaze strike. Guatemala has joined the Allies. That's fine. So we have 600 planes. Do we have no bombers? Oh no, this is our side. Hmm. But we only fly during the night or during the day as well. So Guatemala has joined the war against us. Guatemala, you know, this guy down here who has nine brigades, you know, that's not nothing, but it's also basically nothing. So that's good. You guys are almost at Madagascar. I kind of wish you could. Like, it's so dumb that they can just kind of sail around Madagascar, but they can't just land there. If they could just land, then that would be pretty good for us. But sadly, that's not how this works. Six days. Just take Delhi. Just take Delhi. We're about to take Bombay as well, I think. 
I'm assuming they don't have any troops. They have no troops stationed in Bombay. Try to just distract the Indian army long enough that they should maybe capitulate after these two cities fall. And if they do that, well, one, uh, we're going to need a lot more guys in the Yellow Army to actually be able to maintain control of India. Two days here. We've already taken Bombay. Uh, you might as well move up to uh, this city up here. And you should go down to these two cities. Please actually capitulate after this. British rise at 47%. And once we take the city, it should be easier to hold because it should be in a very nice, defendable position. And I don't really know if there's any more cities after that. Like, this is a city, but it's not named anything. There's actually a bunch of cities. Ah, no, that city is a name. This one doesn't. I don't know why. It does have a radar station there, though. I don't even know if we have radar. I don't think we bothered, bothered with even researching it. Are there 30 out of 20%? That is... Close. Oh, but there's still issues there. And that's fine. Import more oil if we have to. Just take... There's like three more Indian cities. Or there's four more. This one's worth three points. Are the Soviets doing anything at all? They've taken one province back of Afghanistan, so... The answer is no, they really haven't done anything at all. Come on, Soviet Union, just... I mean, at least they're distracting Indian troops. Oh, I guess the game did want us to build bombers as well, right? So... Let's get those guys going. Can we improve our planes as well? Fighter 3 Mark 1s. Yeah, let's just have a lot of fighters. Fighters are good. Got another mad about bombers again. That's eh, not a big deal. We, we can worry about that in the future. But India, they're so close. They're just so close to capitulating. Kabul is not their territory, so I don't think that counts. What are we even importing now? Aluminum? Also, yeah, how did this guy go? Did we take the chromium? We ha we absolutely took all the chromium just by taking the city. So that we basically deprived. Well, I think we did. Uh, resource map mode. Is it ours? No, I think it was in red. Then, then that's ours, because it's like all the occupied territory is in red. So I think maybe we need to take more of the province, we'll, we'll see. I don't think maybe, maybe just taking the city wasn't enough. Okay, but I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video, so thank you for watching. My name is Anthem, if you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, click thumbs down. If you're watching more, subscribe, and goodbye.